Okay, so I'm going to teach you really quickly how to set up for a one-point room. It's not too hard. So what you're going to need is a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of paper. So, if, and your sketchbook if you have a sketchbook. The easiest way to start is to do an X from corner to corner. Now you don't want to press hard when you're doing this, so just a light line. If you look, a normal pencil line, I'm not pressing incredibly hard. Us off. Okay, just gonna correct that. Okay, so now we have the centers. We know where the center is, it's right here. What we're going to do is create the back wall of our room. So it's the very first step. I'm gonna take my ruler and I am going to create a rectangle. Now I want the bottom and the top to be equal so I'm going to measure them out and I'm gonna say two and a half centimeters. Actually I'll just stick with two. So 20, 18. <clears throat> this means my room here is going to be long. So the smaller the square in the back that you create, the longer the room is. So I'm just going to bring this up. It should line up fairly easily. Okay, so if I do that, I have a back wall and a very long room. Now if I want to make the back wall closer, I can just make it bigger. So, for example, I did two centimeters there. I can do three and a half. And then over here, remember, they have to be the same. So three and a half. So there you go. Depending what you want in your room, you can either have a big back wall or a small one. Now I'm going to go with a bigger one. So I'm going to erase all of the lines inside the wall with the exception of that center point because that is going to be my vanishing point. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a moment to make sure that these corners line up because these are going to be the corners of my room. So it's like we're sitting inside. Now, there are certain things that I want you to include in this room. We're going to make it, you can make it whatever you want. It can be a bedroom, it can be a living room, it can be a apartment. <coughs> but for our situation, I want either a bed or a couch. I want a flat surface. So that can be a table, a dresser, a desk, any of those things depending on what you want and you have to include windows a door and lights okay it needs to look like a real room not a cell block so there's going to be actual items in it now to start we know that every item of furniture can usually relate to a different shape turned into a form. So just like we looked over here, we know that couch and bed, those are pretty much rectangles. Same thing here. Window and door, those are also rectangles or squares. And lights can be any shape, cylind uh, cylinder, square, whatever you want. But I'm going to show you how to put in the basics. 
So the first thing that I'm going to put in here is a bed. So you always use your ruler. And what I'm going to start with is the side of the bed. So there is the base of the bed. And then I'm going to, since it's sitting up right here against a wall, I'm going to add a transverse line there and a transverse line there. That is going to be the width of my bed. Now, if I decide that that's too narrow or too long, I can change it. To create the rest of it, I use orthogonals. So I go here and then very gently go to my vanishing point. Okay, just like we did in the exercises. Then, right now my bed is moving into eternity, so I have to do a transverse line to stop that. So there's my transverse line. Now I erase the orthogonal. Okay, so if you wanted to, that's the base of the bed. You can kind of see the lines through it. But generally, this is the base. I would put a mattress on it and I would put other things as well, but I'm going to leave it because I am just going to block in my furniture right now and worry about making things pretty later. So I have the bed there. Say I want a dresser. Now, we know that dressers are taller, so I'm gonna put it on this wall. And I start the exact same way. I build my shape. It's still gonna be a rectangle. Just try to make sure your lines are straight, otherwise you're going to be in some trouble. Okay. Then go back to my vanishing point with orthogonals. Okay. So we can see the wall here, and right now again my dresser is going into infinity, so I have to create an end to it. And I use two transverse lines, I'm just going to use the width of my ruler because it's easier. One going up, and then remember, right angles, one coming across. Okay, and then same thing as the bed, I erase the lines inside. Okay, everything else is made in very much the same way. The only thing left that I'm going to show you is how to do windows. So, windows are going to sit on the wall, they can sit on the ceiling, they can sit here, or they can actually be back here. I'm going to do a big window over here, very simplistically. Windows are not necessarily 3D, so I'm going to start straight from the vanishing point and go out. I just want to draw a shape on the wall. And again, straight from the vanishing point, go out. Now I use transverse lines. And this is because windows sit fairly flat on the wall. They're usually flush. Okay, and I can erase it. Now, there's a couple things that this could end up being. If you wanted to put a TV in there, you could do that. If you wanted to put artwork in there, you could do that. I need to make this look like a window, otherwise it's not really gonna work. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that this has some depth. So I'm gonna do that by using a transverse line. I'm gonna go right at the corner here, and I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, I've just created a little bit of a ledge then I'm going to go here and attach the other end to there. So if you look, it's a tiny little window ledge. And then again, I need another transverse line. And that gives the window some depth. Okay, so the ledge is here, the depth is here. You wouldn't see the top. Okay, 
What I would also do is put curtains on here. There's a bunch of different stuff you could do. The last thing I'm going to show you is this back wall. Now, some people leave it blank. I usually don't. I like to put a window or something in here. And the easiest thing is because this back wall is so flat and with the vanishing point, you don't really need to use it. So if I was going to put a window in this back wall, it would be very simple. You do an actual square. You don't actually have to worry about the vanishing point. Everything is flat. So just make sure that you're using your ruler because things should be straight. Okay, so now it looks like I've put a back window in there. This is pretty much where we're gonna stop. Please add as much furniture as you want or as little furniture as you want. The idea is to get all of this stuff down first and then after it's down, we add all the details in and we add new things in. We can puff it up, make curtains for example. Could easily do some curtains back here or over here. But the idea is everything that we add needs to be built on these, this basic framework. So it's good to get the framework down first and then we add all the other stuff.